define the height of an inaccessible object, meaning it's an object you can't actually reach the top of. So something like this. Let's say you want to find the height of a local mountain. You can't climb that mountain, so you can't go and measure that vertical height. However, you can find the horizontal distance from the mountain center where you, to where you're standing currently. And so here's an example of the mountain profile. So use it to actually solve this question. How can you calculate the height of the mountain? So here's my mountain. Woo, it's big. Um, the top of the mountain is at S. And to do this, I'm going to ask you to actually measure an angle. So you're going to have to use a protractor get one. Uh, if you can't, I guess you'll just watch me do it. <laughs> but if I were to connect S, P, and M, you'll see that I have an angle here. I've measured it with my protractor. I got 31 degrees. Okay. Now you're going to measure the distance of PM. So that's down here. Each one of these spaces is a 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So 18 of those squares is the same thing as 180 meters. So now with this information, can you ask yourself what kind of triangle is SPM? SPM. I hope you can say this is a right angle triangle. And if it is, voila, guess what we can use? What trig ratio can help us calculate the height? Da -da -da. Yeah, it's the one we've been using for the last couple of lessons, the tangent ratio. Tangent theta, of course, equals to the length of the opposite divided by the length of the hypotenuse. So now use this to actually find the height of the mountain. So what's my angle measurement? You got it, 31 degrees. What's the opposite? Well, the opposite would be the actual height of the mountain, right? So we don't know that, we'll call it H. And we do know the hypotenuse is the base, it's 180. So once again, doing our cross multiplying, that's 180 times tangent 31 degrees. Bring out your trusty calculator. 180 times tangent 31 is 108.15. So I'll just round this to 108 meters. That's a pretty tall mountain. Okay. Now, as an exercise for you, I'm going to actually ask you to do the same as above, but this time measure it from point Q. Okay. And then from there, let's see what you get from the height of the mountain. And I'm going to tell you it should be pretty close to this answer here. Because the height of the mountain doesn't really change, does it? All right. So you try that. And then once you're done, come find your teacher for the assignment. This one's an interactive kind of assignment you have to do at the school. Okay. So no textbook assignment in this case. Once again, go ahead and measure then point Q. So think about doing this, this thing, sweet, measuring this angle, and I'm not going to actually do this for you in the video, but okay, fine, I will. I'm, I'll at least tell you the angle. I think it's about 23 and a half degrees, okay? But the rest is up to you, okay? And if you do it right, your answer should be pretty close to 108. That's all for now.